for positivity it opens up the pathway allowing us to think of different ways to think about things to think of different ways to do things and that can actually help us to become more productive <music>
um, see, mindfulness is about being present in the right. moment. Mm. And all you're doing is you're noticing like an observer. So I always like to share this with people. If you're standing at your window, looking out at the clouds, you're yes. just noticing the clouds. You're noticing yeah. that there's blue sky or now it's raining. You're noticing <laughs> yeah. after the rain, the leaves are covered with water. Mm. But you're not judging all of this. You're not saying, hey, yeah, why the cloud look like that one? Uh? I, want to see, I want to see a beautiful flower cloud. And why you give me that kind of thing? We are not judging. Because judgment takes us down the, what's next, what next, what next. And takes mm. us out of the present moment. Right. So by being mindful, by being present, you're actually increasing your capacity to be aware. Mm. And if you think about it in the context of our own happiness, mm. if we are aware of how we are feeling, if mm. we are aware of how we are thinking, then we have the, a better ability to choose how we want to respond to different situations. So let's say someone called you a bad name, mm. called you mean things, we've all had this happen to us. Sometimes our immediate reaction is like, who do they think they are? Yeah. Or maybe some people will be like, oh, is it true? Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm very lousy. Uh, it's true. And yeah. then we think about it for the whole day. Yeah. Right? Right? We get common, affected. common. Yeah. Very, very common. Whereas for mindfulness, it just... We just need to be aware. Like, I noticed that mm. I felt hurt. I noticed that when she called me that name, my chest tightened. Mm. But then, because we're only noticing, we're not saying this is now us. We're not claiming and saying this now belongs to us. Yeah. We are looking at it and saying, okay, so I've experienced this. This is what happened. Now I have to decide, do I want to let these words make us upset? Yeah. Or do I choose that maybe give the benefit of the doubt or maybe I want to go and uh, you know tell my friend about it talk about it mm. but if we are not aware we would just be reactive and when we are reactive we just go one after the other and it could lead into a very negative downward spiral if we don't catch it mm. so mindfulness has a huge impact on, on our ability to, to stay happy so now that we are in the topic of mindfulness or being mindful, right? So is, is being mindful important for success? Well, mindfulness, the other side effect or the other yeah. positive effect of it is uh, the ability to focus. Right. So imagine you have a super busy day and I can, I can just tell you one, what one of my days was like during the circuit breaker. Yeah. I had like three webinars in one day. <laughs> And I have my two kids running around. Oh my. Right? And oh my. I, my husband was not at home, he was at work. You know? And yeah. I, in between, I still have emails that I need to reply. Yeah. So I could get myself all stressed out and think, oh, it has still got two more webinars. Mm. Ayah, she still hasn't finished her homework. Ayah, you know? But that's because we are not in the moment. We're thinking about everything else, but actually this current moment. So one thing that mindfulness really helped me is like, okay, Shan. What is the thing you absolutely need to focus on right now in mm. this moment? Mm. So right now, in that moment, for example, is this webinar that I'm having. Right. And in this moment, I'm not thinking, oh, my kid hasn't finished her homework. Later, she has a Zoom call with her teacher. Oh, what am I going to cook for lunch? Because all of that occupies very precious mind space. And, and when we are stressed, this mind space becomes smaller. Our ability to pay attention and our resources becomes limited. Mm. So we need to really go into that, that present moment and mm. be very focused and just say, what is the thing I need to do now? And then mm. do it. You know, and when we notice that we are getting distracted, when we notice that so many things are there, we just notice and say, oh, okay, hi, like your friend, you know, I, I see you, you're there, <laughs> but I don't need you right now. <laughs> <You're> later. <laughs> you know, and, and I mean, play with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I say, I know you're coming to stress me. I know later the cook <laughs> I haven't prepared the PowerPoint slide. Okay, noted. So maybe you write it down yeah. and say you need to prepare the slides. Right. You get it out of your head. And then, but let's come back to now, you know. So it has a, it has a huge influence on our ability to focus, to be productive. Mm. Because we're dealing with a lot of freelancers and we understand mm. that your speciality or your niche is very, it's not a common thing that people would take up. But let's say if there's a junior, a junior Cheyenne, for example, and he or she wishes to start to embark on your journey. Mm. What, what, what are the, probably like the advice or like steps or what are, what are your thought process? I can tell you exactly what happened 10 years ago. I was working full time and mm. I went to study and halfway through my studies, I decided that uh, I wanted to try being a business owner, being stepping out on my own. 
Um, and of course, it was a difficult decision. My daughter was 10 months old. Um, and, you know, when I suggested this idea to my parents, to anybody, it would be like, you have to be responsible. Yeah. You are a mother. You cannot only think about your own passion. Um, <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, well, if I'm a mother and, I, and I'm unhappy, mm. won't my child be too? Yeah. Um, and so it's not like I jumped without any savings. So I made sure that, you know, my husband and I had talked it through and planned it out. Um, and if you're listening to this, I think it's really important that mm. you may have a passion, but you also need to be realistic. We live yes. in a realistic world. Yes. And much as we want to follow our passion, and of course, there are examples where passion alone has helped people succeed. Mm. But as many stories as there are there, there are also many stories where people have not made it. Yep, yep. And it's not meant to be discouraging. It's just mm. that is the reality. Yep. So having that buffer gave me a little bit more, I mean, I won't be in such panic mode, right? Yes. Um, so that was the first important consideration. And then when I finally jumped out, uh, I had this mindset that I would do whatever it takes. I had a goal. I set a goal at the end of my first year that I needed to make enough to pay for my master's uh, program, which was very expensive. Mm. And I said, if I'm going to invest that amount of money, in my master's for myself to make this switch, then I must justify it. I must right. make it count. Yep. And I think having a goal gives you a bit more motivation and focus mm. than saying, like, okay, la, yeah, I take it easy. La. First few months is, is normal, right? Every business doesn't make money <laughs> the first few months. Yeah. Um, uh, these, are, these are things that people do say. Mm. And while it may be, may be truth for some, it doesn't have to be your truth, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have to see our own circumstances. Mm. So when I had that goal, it, I was quite motivated and I just told my friends, okay, you know, I want to do work like this, but if you don't have this kind of work, any kind of work that is not, of course, against my morals, uh, yeah. I would do it. Um, and so I did all kinds of things, you know, for, like recording focus groups, writing notes for focus groups. Mm. Uh, I went to a lot of networking events to meet people, to forge collaborations. Yeah. Um, I taught part-time at the School of Positive Psychology, at SIM at the time, um, whatever it takes. And in between, I was still trying to finish up my master's, mm. flying up and down to the US. So um, mm. it, it was an incredibly difficult time. Mm. Um, but at the same time, I realized that if we set our mind to something, um, it is doable. Yep. Um, and we must continue to be in communication with the people who support us. Um, they are worried for us therefore they say certain things yes <laughs> right uh, it doesn't mean that you have to 100% agree with them but know that it comes from there and just keep them updated mm. so I told my mom yes you know uh, I of course don't earn the salary that I used to but hey I've got a few new clients I'm making headway yep. just give me some time mm. I'll show you what I can do yeah, so those were the things that I, I, I thought about. I mean, there's ups and downs, right? You, mm. From a salary job to freelancing, yes. uh, income is not stable. Mm. So you have to ask yourself, uh, is that something you're okay with? Mm. Um, of course, there are perks. You have a lot of autonomy to make your own decisions. You never have to deal with a nasty boss because you are your boss. It's in your hands and it can go either way. Mm. So what are you prepared to do? Uh, you know, so these are important considerations if you're thinking about uh, going freelance. And like my niche is very niche. Yes. So it can also cut both ways. One is people say, oh, that's cool. Tell me more. Mm. The other one is, uh, but you cannot do this. Uh. Uh, you cannot do that. Uh. You cannot speak about this. Uh. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah and, and a lot of it then comes down to being, you know, being clear what is the audience what you, you want to serve and yeah. what you're there to do. Mm. Um, and once you've got a base and stability, then you can be a bit more discerning yep. as to yeah, what project to take, which ones not to, who to work with. Mm. Before we let you all shine, uh, could you let our viewers and listeners know how they can connect with you? Sure, they can go to my website, uh, www.happinessscientist.com. You can also connect with me on Instagram and my name, Sha'en Yeo, S-H-A-E-N-Y-E-O. And also reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, Sha'an Yo, there's only one. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, yeah. your name is very unique. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I'd love to connect with you on LinkedIn and yeah, uh, really good to be able to share with all of you. 
Okay, thank you so much, Shaan, to be with us. And I feel that uh, we both feel that, you know, it's a lot of uh, very important content, even though people don't see the importance of it, but definitely taking care of our happiness and being mindful is mm -hmm. also important as well. So for those of you who find this beneficial, don't forget to follow us in all our social media platforms at the Freelancers Academy at YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Telegram, as well as LinkedIn. Okay, thank you so much, Shaan, and okay. wish you all the best for... Happiness scientist. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.